What's up, everybody? How you doing? Give me a second. It's Don from Flush Gaming here, everybody. Give me one second. Right. Anyways, I was saying, what's up, everybody? Don from Flush Gaming here. Uh, sorry if my hair looks like shit. I uh, showered earlier and I didn't exactly brush it. Also, if I sound kind of tired, it's because it's currently 11.06 at the time of filming this. But, um... Today is going to be a little bit different of a video. Today, I'm going to be showing off what I have of my Godzilla collection right there. And those movies right there. And a bunch of other stuff. But, um... Without further ado, let's get into it. But first, I want to say, I'm going to start with the bigger figures and then move down to the smaller stuff. So, uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first off, we got the Bandai 12-inch Godzilla Final Wars, which is one of my favorite incarnations of Godzilla, and also one of my favorite figures that I own. And I have the other one, which is... Uh, Bandai Creations, I think it's Bandai Creations or Bandai, I'm not sure. 12 inch Kiryu or Mecha Godzilla. And they're supposed to like come together and you can pick them up together. But yeah, here's the two 12 inch figures that I have right here. Now give me a second while I go put these back real quick. Alright, so now that I put those away, I'm gonna get to the next big figures. Here is my Godzilla 1954 Bust Bank which is basically just a Godzilla bank, but I don't use it for bank for, I don't use it for coins, because I tried using it once, and um, let's just say the coins didn't come out for like 20 minutes, because it's hard to open them, so I just kind of have them as a figure. When I bought them, I didn't even know it was a bank, a bank, so, but I thought it was a figure, so, just one of my Godzillas that I just have, so. Now, let me show you my other big figures. Here is my King Ghidorah figure, which I'm not sure if it's from Bandai or a different company that made this. But this is my King Ghidorah that I got off eBay for like, I'm gonna say it was like 20 bucks. So he's made kind of, he's kind of used. So this is the only King Ghidorah figure I own besides his brother, um, Mecha King Ghidorah or Robot King Ghidorah, whatever you want to call him. I just call him Mecha King Ghidorah because that's his official name. But this is my. This is my only two King Ghidorahs I own. Personally, I like this one better because it looks a little bit cooler than this one, in my opinion. I don't really like this figure. It's kind of made cheapy, I don't, cheaply, and I don't really make, like it. Probably going to buy another one eventually, but I can't find a really good one right now. So, anyways. Moving on. We have my Destroyer figure right here, which is pretty cool. He's another one of my... Well, I got him for Christmas last year, and he's a fairly, he's actually, um, hey, right. he's actually my most recent Godzilla figure that I've gotten is Destroyer, or Destroyer. I got him on Christmas of 2020, one of the best Christmases I've ever had. Oh, yeah, there's Destroyer. Now, I'm not going to take these guys off individually, so I'm just going to take the camera and move over to my shelf back there and show you what I got. Also, we got that Godzilla music playing, just for background noise, but anyways, alright, I'm going to start off right here, I think, and then, actually, here, I'm going to start right here with my, these are my, hang on, my tickets of when I went to go see Godzilla vs. Kong, the new one, I saw it once with my dad and my friend, and I also saw it again with my, with um, my friend, with with four of my fr with three of my friends and one of their cousins, and uh, those are they're very special to me because my first time I ever saw the movie because I've been waiting for a long time to see it, and um, I really like that movie. So if you haven't seen it, I'm not gonna spoil anything that happens. If you haven't seen it, you should try and go watch it or download HBO Max or something. But I really like the movie. Anyways, moving on up here. This is like where I keep. Hang on, sorry if it's blurry kind of how my camera is, just 
blurry by itself. This is where I keep all my Godzilla figures that are just Godzilla himself, because I have so many of them, as you can see. I'll go through them individually, but first I have this Mecha Godzilla Kiryu poster, which I really like. Speaking of that, back here I have my uh, uh, Godzilla X Evangelion Mecha Godzilla here, which I really like, even though it's just a remodel of that one, just different colors. I still like this one, probably like it more than that one. This is by far my most expensive figure that I own, because it's the rarity of it. And, um, also, let me turn down my music. Um, here is my other ver version of that. The Kiryu Bandai figure, right here. And this is Dad, already showed you him. Cool. And on top of him, we got my Bandai Mothra, which is from either Godzilla Final Wars or Tokyo SOS. I'm pretty sure it's Final Wars because of her design. Alright, but down over here, we got my, my um, NECA... Um, if you don't know how to say that, that's like, NECA is basically just a company that makes really detailed, articulated figures. And, um, that's what, um, NECA is. So, um, that's where I got this figure. And, um, here, I got my, um, Godzilla vs. Biollante 1989. I want to say it's the same company that made that figure. But this one's very special to me, too, because I got this for my birthday. In 2000, was it 20 or 19? I want to say it was, yeah, it was 2020 or 2020, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, my my best friend got me this. I'm sure you've seen this. Or, not this, but my my friend in other videos. His name is Brandon. But this is an, another special figure to me. But there you go. Right here we got one of my very first figures. My Bandai Burning Godzilla. Which was used off ebay which is why he looks kind of like shit on his chest right there but um anyways now i got my two favorites right here in the center we got my gut my bandai godzilla 2000 which is my second favorite figure with his feet and his tail goes all the way back there also since we get a tail this one's tail goes all the way back there and here's my godzilla final wars 2004 bandai action figure, which is my, my favorite figure besides that one, and probably that one, or that one. And then here we got my NECA 2014 Godzilla, which is my only MonsterVerse figure I own, which I wish. If you don't know what the MonsterVerse is, basically like the, the, um, the um, trilogy of new Godzilla films. I don't know if it's actually a confirmed trilogy, but I, want, I call it a trilogy because it makes sense in the storyline. This is from the first film in the trilogy, I want to say. That's what I call it. And then we got my NECA 1994 Godzilla. Which is another one of my old ones. And then we got 1974 Showa Mechagodzilla. It's either from um, uh, Terror of Mechagodzilla or Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. I want to say it's from the first one. But yeah. He's from Bandai. And then over here is where I keep my other, like, um, kaiju figures from Godzilla. That guy's not from Godzilla, but we'll get into that in a minute. Anyways, back there we got my Burning Godzilla poster, which has been up there since, like, 2018. And then, let me sit down for this, right here. We got my Bandai 2004 Gigan, which is one of my favorite figures that I own besides that one up there. And then we got, uh, Bandai... 1970, I want to say it's 1972 or 3, Gigan, I'm pretty sure it's from Godzilla vs. Gigan, but it's like the, the newer version of it, because it's an old version, I wish I had the older version, but I don't, and here's my Bandai King Caesar, which is another one of my, or not my favorites, but like, one of my most recent ones, I got Christmas of 2019, he's pretty, a little over a year old, but he's still more recent, because I don't really collect these very much, I mostly, me and my friend are making a Pokemon series, as you said, and we mo and we dedicated to having all our money be spent on Pokemon plushies. So, also, those three, Chikorita, Mudkip, and Grookey are coming soon to the series, so those are our new ones. Anyways, and then we got my Bandai Mothra figure, or Larva Mothra, 
and then back there we got my Bandai Dark Ultraman. I've never watched Ultraman and I probably never will. But I still like the design of this figure and I really I really wanted it when I saw it on Amazon. And back here we have my Bandai 2004 Rodan which is another one of my favorites older figure I've always had for a while. Here's my Bandai 2004 Anguirus, which is another one of my figures or favorite figures. Down here is my Star Wars section, but we're not going to look at that. I wanted to show the poster behind Darth Vader and Kylo Ren and Boba Fett right here, which is my Godzilla poster that says Godzilla in Japanese that I handmade that I had to Google how to say it or spell it in Japanese. The reason why that's down here by the Star Wars stuff that might be a little confusing is because I used to have Godzilla figures down here, but I moved them up there and like all over the room. And so I just put my Star Wars figures down here, but I'm probably going to, when I get more Godzilla stuff, I'm going to move these probably, like, down there or something. But, um, that's my other stuff. Down here, not Godzilla stuff either, just FNAF plushies. You, I made a video talking about all my different FNAF plushies, so we're not talking about FNAF plushies for today. Eventually, when I get a lot of figures and stuff, I will do, like, a collection of my room tour and stuff like that. And then right here is some more Godzilla stuff that I have. I have my Godzilla vs. Biollante poster, which I got off of the box of that one. I just cut it off so I could have it, because I liked it. And then over here we got my Godzilla plushie, which is sadly ripped on the arm, but that's okay. And then over here we got some of my little miniature Godzilla figures. Not counting these things, these are just wrestling action figures. I don't even know why. I got these at Dollar Tree one time. My friend's mom bought it for me. I don't even really plan on getting them. But, uh, oh wait, never mind. I do own two other King Ghidorahs, I forgot. Anyways, forget the action figures. Just the John Cena, The Rock, and that dude. Anyways, not important. We don't care about those. I don't really even use them anyways. But uh, anyways, back here we got my Mechagodzilla miniature version, Kiryu. Which, that makes my fourth Kiryu that I own. I, ha I own a lot of Kiryus. I actually really like him that much. That's why I own so many. And then we got my Shin Godzilla figure, which is the only Shin Godzilla figure I have. Although, I really want the bigger version, like the Bandai version, like those up there. But I probably won't be able to get him for a while. And then we got my Bandai King Ghidorah with m removable limbs right there. Got him off eBay. Forgot I even forgot. I know how I said I only had one, two King Ghidorahs early, but I actually have two more over here. Here we got my Chibi Godzilla, Chibi Destroyer, Chibi Mothra, Chibi King Ghidorah, and then we got my Chibi Gigan and my Chibi Mecha Godzilla. Now we're getting down to the last of the stuff, which is my other Godzilla vs. Biollante. Poster from the back of the box of that figure. But now, let's get on to the movies. Alright, here is a wide view of all the movies that I own. But I'm going to go over them one by one. Starting with the Blu-ray, which is... I have... Now let me sit on the ground for this. Ah, oh, sorry if you couldn't understand me. I said, let me sit on the ground for this. Anyways, here's my, my Blu-ray copy of the original King Kong vs. Godzilla. Which is the... Surprisingly... The only Showa Godzilla movie that I own out of all of my movies. Most of my movies are from the Heisei period or the Millennium or the Monsterverse. I don't really own the older ones. Anyways, moving on, we got my copy of the Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah and Godzilla and Mothra the Battle for Earth. It's a double feature. And then we got Godzilla 2014, which is, if you ask me, not is, a, is an okay movie. I don't really... I mean, I like the action, but like... It's not that good of a movie, because, like, it's only good when the action is up, if you ask me, because, like, I understand, like, it. it's, like, a new movie, but, like, it focuses too much on the humans. It's supposed to, it's not really supposed to focus on humans that much. But if, if you disagree, just don't wet yourself in the comments. Anyways, here is my Godzilla Tokyo SOS, Godzilla Final Wars, uh, uh, Blu-ray, uh, copy, or not copy, uh, double feature. And then we got the weirdest film trilogy to ever exist, Rebirth of Mothra 1, 2, and 3. If you wonder why it's weird, don't ask me. Just go watch them. 
they're not that weird. They're kind of the budgets aren't that good. The storyline, the voiceovers aren't really that good. The only good ones out of those probably have to be the original and the third one. The second one is just weird. Just don't watch the second one if you ask me. It's kind of weird. And then we got my very first Godzilla movie I ever got, which was Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Or Destroyer. Um, that's how you say it in Japan. Hang on. Wait, never mind. I felt something on my foot, but that's just the sheets. Anyways, this is my first ever uh, movie that I got. Right here. Or movies. The disc is still in there. Right there. On the back, it shows stuff about the movie and shit like that. And now we got Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Another one of the Heisei movies. Another one of my... Well, not my top favorite, but one of my favorites. And then we got Godzilla 2000, which I actually did not have this for a really long time. And um, I actually only watched this for the first time a couple months ago. I think it was before the end of the year, though. And then we got Godzilla King of the Monsters, which is still one of my top three favorite movies. I have to say my my fa my second favorite is probably King Kong vs. Godzilla, the new one, or Godzilla vs. Kong. And my favorite movie of all time is Final Wars, definitely. And then we got one King Kong movie, which is Kong Skull Island. And uh, I don't have very many Kong movies because I'm not really that much of a Kong fan. I like Godzilla. You ask me, Godzilla's cooler than King Kong, and also he has more film appearances, so makes him more of a famous icon. I mean, Kong, Kong's the original. He came from 1930s before Godzilla, but I know he was like inspiration for Godzilla, but like he's, if you ask me, he's not as cool as Godzilla. But the movie, this one, is good. This is a good movie. I really like it. I hope to one day see the original King Kong. I've never seen the original King Kong, but I have seen the Jack specific King Kong or. Whatever that movie's director was called, Jack's, Jack Nicholson, no, wait, I don't know, something like that. But anyways, um, is there anything else in here that's Godzilla related? Uh, no, I think we're done here. Alright, well that's gonna do it for my Godzilla collection of 2021, I don't know why I said 2020. Let's forget this, just pretend like that year never happened, it was a waste of piece of crap. Anyways, that was my Godzilla collection of 2021. I will make an update eventually once I get like at least 10 more figures because I'm probably after me and Brandon finish the Pokemon series and he stops making me make everything I buy in a Pokemon plushie Brandon if you're watching this I'm looking at you um, I'm gonna buy once we finish that series I'm just gonna buy Godzilla figures, Xenomorph figures and Predator figures if you don't know what Predator or Xenomorph is Google it. Just movies. I'm gonna buy more shelves and places to put stuff, but um, but yeah. That was my Godzilla collection for 2021, and uh, if I get anything else, I'll update. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, somebody wants to say bye. Bye bye. Go watch my movies.